Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbytheen.com with a three box break of 2017-18 Panini Essentials Basketball three box Ram Team break number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Grab three boxes from the back. We opened up a fresh case a little while ago. There are the three right there. Big, big thank you to these folks for getting into the action. There they are. You guys have spots in tonight's uh, Father's Day pack promo too. There are your combo teams. And let's randomize each list. Full 12 times, 6 and a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 more times, 7, 8, 9. I wish all the dice rolls were like 5. 11 and 12th and final time. After 12 times, we've got Nancy on the pole. All the way down to Daniel. Once again, 12 times for the teams. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 10, 11, and 12th and final time. We made it. After 12 times, we've got the Pelicans on top. There you go, Nancy. And the Rockets in the 28th spot. All right, so Nancy with the Pelicans, Jason L. with the Heat, Nancy got the Hawks, EJ with the Pacers, Allen with the Magic, DMAC, Clippers, and Wizards, Robert Rohr with the Knicks with one of uh, with your last spot mojo, that is, Mike Cody, Nuggets and Grizz combo, David Shaw with the Bucks, Daniel, you got the Spurs and my Lakers. Oh, what does that mean, Daniel? Spurs and Lakers together? Does it mean Kawhi to the Lakers is going to happen? I think, I think that's what that means. Nancy, Warriors... Pistons for Daniel, David with the Sixers, Darren with the Bulls, Jason L. with the Timberwolves, Robert Scott the King, Celtics, Thunder, and Jazz for Nancy. Nice trio of teams there. The X-Line, Suns, and Trailblazers. Steel Curtain with the Hornets. Daniel with the Mavs, Peter with the Raptors, the X-Line with the Cavs, Manuel with the Nets, and Daniel with the Rockets. All right, let's order these by team. Looks like we've got the Pacers up for trade if there's any offers for the Pacers. All right, looks like no trades, so let's close up that trade window. TWC means trade window closed. So that list on that screen remains the same. Let's officially print that out. All right, remember, two autographs per box on average. I think all the boxes have an average so far. We have not seen any below average boxes, nor have we seen above average boxes. They've all delivered about what we'd expect. All right. There it is, random team break two. What's going on here, Toner? I have to shake that up a little bit. All right, good luck, boys and girls. So that's the latest craziness in the NBA. I said it was going to be a crazy offseason. Kawhi Leonard's relationship with the Spurs, pretty much done, I guess. They're not pleased. He's not pleased with the Spurs organization and how they handled his uh, his injury. No one really knows if how injured he was or wasn't. But what that's turned into is Kawhi wanting to leave the Spurs, trying to force his way out, maybe go to the Lakers. But then the Lakers have to make 
a nice deal to the Spurs for the Spurs to even let him go. Otherwise, the Spurs may lose him in uh, in free agency next year. So who do the Lakers move? What does that mean? I don't know, but the craziness of the offseason has started already. Let's get into this crazy one right here. There's Kings of the Court, Carl Anthony Towns, Zach Levine, Sundarius Thornwell. There's Ben Simmons, Markel Fultz. Kyle Kuzma might, might be on the move. There's Ben Simmons, Indispensable Stars, and LeBron James. <laughs> yeah, Williams, Williams keep an eye on the toner. He was like, you changed your toner five months ago. Come on, toner. I guess just too many breaks, William. We've just been breaking too much. Frank Mason the third Is that numbered? No, usually the numbers are on front. Slightly different parallel, though. Julius Randle's an unrestricted free agent. I don't know what happens with that. A lot of, uh, lot of things up in the air. Don't know what's going to happen, but should be an exciting offseason. We've got, yeah, there he is, Magic Johnson. 10 out of 49 glorified signatures. Magic Johnson, make it happen. Please. All right, that's for my Lakers. I think a little bit of dust got caught in there. Um, Magic for the Lakers. That's not bad for a thirteen ninety nine spot, Daniel Patera with my Lakers. There's Donovan Mitchell. We'll save one of those for Nancy. Um, Bill saying, Bill Mosher is saying, I love our uh, Celtics team. Don't want to lose Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown. Yeah, apparently the. The Celtics may be making overtures to the to Tony Parker's Spurs, right there, possibly for Kawhi Leonard. Now, who would the Spur or who would the Celtics have to move for Kawhi? Not sure. I mean, I think Kyrie Irving would be part of that deal. There's Kawhi right there. Where does he? Where does that man go? Rudy Gobert. There's Yao Ming. Worldwide wonders. I don't think we see a lot of these. I'll set that aside. Nice dynamic duos. There's Jimmy Butler to 99. And our other autograph is Destined for Greatness, Ivan Rab. 96 out of 99. That goes to the Nuggets-Grizz combo, Mike Cody with that one. There he is, Kyrie. He might be on the move. I think he has like a year left, right? I don't think the Celtics have extended him yet. So if he has a year left, Kawhi has a year left, maybe the Celtics throw in one of their 8 million draft picks. Maybe a maybe a Terry Rozier. That might that might do the deal. That might do the trick. All right. Next box. Or the Spurs could just grind it out. They could just be like, we're just holding on to you. <laughs> they could do that too. Or send Kawhi to, I don't know, what would what would be a terrible place for Kawhi Leonard to go? I guess, I don't know, a LeBronless Cleveland? They're going to struggle for a little while. Although Kawhi Leonard could be a great, I don't know. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, when 100% when healthy, ladies and gentlemen, has got to be I mean, definitely a top 10 player in the NBA right now. P possibly top five player. So Kawhi Leonard could instantly improve any team. And he's still relatively young. They could still build around him. So the Knicks, <laughs> would that be that be like being banished to a bad team? Yeah, Knicks might be a little tough. Although Kawhi and Porzingis together could be interesting. There's Lonzo. He might get moved. I'm not. Who knows where any of these guys are going to be? There's Austin Rivers out of 99 for the Clippers. Kyle Kuzma might be on the move. Juwan Evans won't be on the move. True potential. Clippers. 
That'll go to the Clippers Wizards combo. That'll go to Darren McKenzie. DMAC. Bill, Bill Mosher is saying that the Celtics have the Sacramento 2019 first round pick. I, I don't think you're going to move that pick. But the only thing that you deal can pass muster is Jalen Brown, Terry Rozier, and the Sacramento. I don't think they're going to move that Sacramento pick. But they can move something else. Ilya Sova. Does LeBron go to... Although, you know, if all that Kawhi stuff goes down, Paul George to the Sixers... Oh, there he is right there. Paul George of the Sixers might be a good move if he doesn't go, go to L.A. There's KG. There's a lot, lot of things that can happen. <laughs> Bill Mosher says send, uh, send Kawhi to the Bobcats. There's future legends. Lori Markinen. Bulls. Go to the Bulls. Kawhi to the... There he is. <laughs> Indispensable. Uh, maybe not to the Spurs. Maybe maybe dispensable. Rock the rim die cut. Josh Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. That goes to Mr. Shaw with that die cut. He started to improve towards the last half of the season. They, they have the number one overall. And once they get... I don't know who they're going to get, but once they get someone... There he is. Nice. True potential autograph. So Josh Jackson, Devin Booker, and either Aiton or the, uh, I keep forgetting that kid's name, but that 19-year-old kid who won like the MVP in some European league or something like that. Dontich? D Donich? There's Boogie. Where does he go? See, a lot of questions up in the air, folks. Will the will the uh, Pelicans re-sign Boogie? Will Markel Fultz fix his shot? Where does Chris Paul go? Does he join the Lakers? Does he stay in Houston? Hey, Nancy. Uh, oh, yeah, no worries. Yeah, that, that was cool. We're, we're probably going to do another one of those Supreme Hardcore breaks tonight. Uh, yes, sorry, did I say Shaw? Shaw has the Sixers. You have, Yeah, you have the Suns. That goes to you, the X line. It doesn't matter what I say, as long as that list is right. <laughs> I, could, I could say these all go to Jason Lawner, and it wouldn't matter because we go by the list right here. I could say this goes to, they all go to Nancy. I could say they all go to Jaspies. No, yeah, excellent. You have the Suns and Trailblazers. Oh my God, Bill, Bill Mosher, you're making my head hurt here. His my quote: "Watch the NBA implode." Trade. This would make the NBA implode. Jalen Brown, Terry Orzier, and picks for Kawhi, and then Gordon Hayward and other picks for LeBron. So. Kyrie, Kawhi, LeBron, Jason Tatum, now Horford. Woo. Although I don't think Kyrie wants to play with LeBron. <laughs> that was pretty clear. So pretty much you lose, you only have Ky Kyrie for the year, and then he'll leave in free agency. Yeah, the Upper Deck uh, Supreme Hardcore break, it's a one-box break, and there's two things inside. One thing is an autograph, and one thing is just a relic only. And you get a random player, and the list of players is on the uh, is in the item description. All right, last box right here, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Essentials basketball. There's another three box break in the store right now. Cheap and fun. Thirteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Cheap and fun, like me. All right, Wilt Chamberlain, Thomas Bryant, Brandon Ingram might be on the move. Well, I'm, I don't want to move Brandon Ingram. But that might have to be what has to happen. There's Boogie Cousins and Donovan Mitchell. That's for Nancy and the Pelicans. Jazz is also Nancy. 
Gets the indispensable rookie, Donovan Mitchell. It'll be interesting to see how he, his career continues to evolve and progress. There's Dirk. Dirk may be reaching cyborg status if he keeps playing basketball. And we've got a redemption coming up. And it's a nice redemption. It's rookie autographs, Dennis Smith Jr. for Daniel Patera and the Mavs. It's a good day for Daniel so far. Good Saturday. Thanks for getting in, Daniel. Dynamic. How, how does OKC retool? There's Giannis. What do the Bucks add in the off season? What do they do? That I've, you know, I'm hearing things. They might try to move Jabari, maybe for some other for to create more depth on the team. Kevin Durant. I think the Warriors may just stand pat. They got to re-sign Clay, I think. Donovan Mitchell. Kind of hard to see the numbers here sometimes. Magic Johnson. Frank Mason. Dario Saric. Clint Capella. They got to resign Clint Capella. Right? Timberwolves might trade Andrew Wiggins. And the autograph is for the Bulls. True potential. David and Waba. That is out, that's out of 10. I was like, that's a different hollow right here. There's the number. 3 out of 10. Nice one for the Bulls. That'll be for DMAC. And there you have it, folks. That was a three-box break of 1718 Essentials Basketball. I like this set. Good photography, nice design. And some nice hits inside here, too. So, And at $13.99 a spot to get some of the big rookies, well worth it. So check it out, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. More hoops on the site. And a lot, a lot of other stuff, too. Check it out. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.